I'm Michael Alexander. I'm an unemployed commercial construction superintendent along with the 17 million plus other Americans that are unemployed. I uh, have this idea on uh, how to fix the oil leak or the gusher, the catastrophe. Uh, you, first you need to build uh, this big cone. It's shaped. It could be anywhere from 20 to 60 feet long. Make it out of steel or lead. You'd have a solid steel guide rod that could go up through the middle of it and connect for connection. And also it could guide into the, to the hole. And this, like I said, could be anywhere from 2 to 60 feet. And it's, notice how it tapers. And then uh, the outside diameter would be the same as the inside diameter of the pipe or even a little bit smaller. And you could have some type of seal all around the top of it. And then the added weight or slab or cap would have to be heavy enough to exceed the pressure from the well. You just lower this down from a ship above. Can't be doing it with a little submarine or anything you got down there. It's got to be heavy enough to resist that oil pressure and you lower it down. And like I said, this could be anywhere from 60 from two two to sixty feet long, it don't it it wouldn't matter. It, this there I don't know a lot of the details of that. A riser, you could either take the riser off or leave the riser on and just lower it in. Like you'd have so many uh, a foot or two or uh, of the the pipe the taper at the top would be the same diameter as the as the inside of the leaking pipe. And again. There's no excuse for the time that this has gone on. It's, it's, uh, the gulf is gone as, as we'll ever know it and it's been ruined for decades. There's millions of us. There should be mil millions of us unemployed. There should be millions of us out there cleaning up the, the oil at BP's expense. They should be hiring all the unemployed Americans in this country to get that done. Not just the few thousand that they have. This is catastrophe.